Hi, I'm John Q, and this is my review of the Monoprice Select Mini version 2. This was my first print. Uh, actually, it was my second print. My first print was trying to print the cat.gcode file with their sample filament and the raft separated shortly after it started. So I restarted it and you may note that the uh, right ear didn't finish because I basically ran out of filament. Otherwise it printed pretty well. And here's how the cat looks. It's a pretty decent job of printing on a printer so inexpensive and the only thing I had to do with it as far as assembly was concerned is redo the calibration to verify that I got the proper uh, bed leveling. Okay here's a 3D Benchy printed with the default Simplify 3D settings for a mono price select mini. Unfortunately these are really the settings from version 1 and you can see that there's a lot of stringing in this build. Now looking at the documentation that came with it uh, I revamped it Here's the result of increasing the retraction from 2.5 to 4.5, which is what Monoprice shows in the manual for the version 2 printer. And there was a lot less stringing. Now this was with Proto Paradigm PLA. And that's not too bad. Trying a different brand this is BAMTAC, one of the bargain prices on uh, Amazon. And it shows very good quality. Now here's an example of the Verne's Rocket printed hollow with a raft with uh, Maker Geeks PLA. They're transparent crystal PLA. And it looks really nice, except it's virtually impossible to get that raft off. Repeating it without a raft, but with one addition. Uh, I put glue stick down on the print bed and it held beautifully and it released very easily and you can see that's a really nice print nice and solid here's Maker Geeks Pet G and this one also printed nice and solid and because of the uh, glue stick it released easily. It held during printing but would release without a problem. And here is ABS. It had all kinds of problems. It has real layer adhesion problems and when I tried a 3D Benchy uh, even with glue stick it uh, did not stay fully attached it has a a warped bottom on something really small so I don't personally recommend using ABS on this printer it uh, the main problem is the cooling the uh, printer has a combination cooling fan where it has a single cooling fan on the pad which cools the uh, hot end 
and has a diversion duct to cool the print filament as it is extruded. Now, the problem is ABS doesn't like that. It does not like immediate cooling. It doesn't stick well if you do that. So, personally, ABS is out. Now, online, someone asked about uh, flexible filament, specifically TPU. Well, I had a sample of MakerFlex, and it extruded very well. The extruder had no problem pushing the filament through the Bowden tube uh, and retracting it. Unfortunately, this was with the 4.5 millimeter retraction settings and it left a lot of stringing as you can see. The reason that the print is so warped is because this was before I was using the glue stick and it refused to separate from the print bed. I ultimately had to use a razor to get it off and then had to sand the build platform in order to be able to use it again. Now when I did and I put the MakerFlex back in, well I ran out before it finished but uh, the other thing I did was I slowed the speed down 50%. So this is printing at half speed with 6.5 millimeter retraction and it's a really nice print and it's very it's a very flexible print. Uh, I like this material for this printer. It's one I'd recommend. I'll be getting some semi-flex in soon so I can try that with it but I know MakerFlex works. I also tried Hatchbox TPU which is a lot more flexible filament and it would not feed properly to print. That one just did not work. Now one of the features of this printer is on the menu it has a pause feature. Now if you use that as opposed to putting a pause in the uh, uh, Cura uh, print because Pura has the ability to use a plug-in to pause during the print so you can tell it when you want it to pause and where you want to park the head when you pause. If you just press the uh, pause button on the menu then what happens is it retracts the head to 00, zero uh, XY coordinate and allows you to manually retract the filament and then what you have to do is then you have to manually feed it through till you get the color change uh, through the print head. At that point when you resume the print it resumes and prints two colors beautifully. you see that a little better this way. Okay, and there you can see it. You know, it really printed that nice. So yes, you can do multicolor printing on a layer basis. Whether you use the Cura plug-in to uh, set the layer change or you manually pause it. And lastly, I did a cube, 20 millimeter cube, and it printed fairly well. The X direction actually measured 19.2, the Y direction measured 20.2 20 and 20.4, and the Z was 19.5. So it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. And all I can say about it is for $220 it's a bargain. If you need something that is ready to print right out of the box 
and will print PLA beautifully. It'll also print PETG as I showed you with the Verne's Rocket. Uh, then you're, this is a great bargain. ABS, uh, I think that's a problem. The, the cooling from the fan interferes with ABS layer adhesion. It cools it too fast so the layers don't adhere. And that induces warping. 